Hey, hey, everybody, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and uh, like-minded and, folks like that. And everything in between. Yeah, this is the Coon Prairie Ramblers, and we're about to get started here. We're going to circle up the wagons, and because we're in the house. Yeah, yeah we buddy. Are. And we got some, whoop, whoop. we got some meandering to do. We got Luke, the rebel without a clue. Still cl- still clueless, after all these years. And we got me, the amiable, affable man about town, debonair. Fleet of foot. Mel man. Yeah, fleet of foot. <laughs> fleet of we mouth. We got the last behind the glass back there before behind there. Miss Yarika. Yarika. And we got a special guest. We have the Terror of Brownville. Ooh. No. We got, we got Rick, the Richie, the rich guy of Brownville, Richie Rich. Richie right? Rich Burnham. Oh, okay, somebody's been misinformed before the start of this show, but Uh-oh, come I'll on, go man. with it. I'll run with the Richie Rich part, and maybe someday it'll actually come in. Maybe when your clue comes in, my riches will come there you in go. with it. <laughs> I uh, thought you was a high, a high roller for up that. there in Brownville. Uh, well, that's why they made me move out, because I wasn't a high roller, and now they won't let me move back. Mm, how you that happen? Did I they banish you to some place? They, they've banished me over to DeSoto Village, actually. They won't let me come back into town. Goodness. Can you oh. believe that? We got outlaw amongst us this morning. Outlaw. Outlaw. Wait, on the edge. You got you over in DeSoto Village? You got Jack Welch in DeSoto Village? Is Jack oh. Welch in DeSoto Village? Yeah. Yeah, like he is. Yeah, wow. Holy yeah, cow! Our, didn't even our know that. Preacher Spurgeon, over. Spurgeon's there. Keep like straight. Preacher Spurgeon. Woo! All right. Uh, well, he's got his hands full out there because there's a lot of people that need some Spurgeon uh, teaching. I heard that. Uh-huh. He'd be Spurgeonized. Yeah. <laughs> Spurgeonator. The Spurgeonator. Yeah. Get him. You know, him. You're a long time resident, but you are you are a Brownsville. Uh, I was descent, actually right? born and raised in Desoto County. All right. And, and the old hospital down South Seventeenth. Flea Market no Hospital. There. Yep. That's it. Flea Market Hospital. I think I was born with the fleas down there, but <laughs> uh, yeah, that's yeah. hopefully you outgrew them. <laughs> well, we're start most of them. Here. If you start itching there, Luke, because you're closest to me, you're right. You'll know I didn't get rid of all of them. Have I'm, I'm going to flee if I get some fleas on me. <laughs> he has a fleet of foot wife. Yes, I do. She of is foot. fleet of Life. foot. I thought I was fleet of foot, man. She is fast. She, she's, boogity, uh, boogity. she's an inspiration. I, I can't keep up with her. I'm a, I'm a few years younger than she is, but she's worn me out now, and so she's just oh, kind of grinding me down, and she just keeps on going. Women like will she, do that. She, she energizes her bunny. looking for her next... Um, uh, uh, Boy toy? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> now, 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 guys, Stead come muffin. on. Come, come on. Come on. You're scaring me here. Actually, she says she's going to look for somebody even older that's got even more money. So uh, uh, I'm starting to get a little nervous. Mine little would have nervous. to look far for somebody with more money than me. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep her guessing on the money, what you got. Or I'm, maybe, I just maybe she knows everything you got. I just don't tell her where it's all hidden at. Oh, okay. yeah. Both, yeah. both dollars are in my pocket. Tell me, is your wife high maintenance? You know what? My wife is about the lowest maintenance woman really? I know. She is so easy cool. going. Now, now, get this. She doesn't like to shop. She's not even a fan of jewelry. She'll yeah. have a little bit, but, you know, she's low, 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 low maintenance. I'm a oh, really lucky okay, guy. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, my wife, I, I mentioned that to my wife. She asked me to fix her breakfast this morning. And In bed? Is, well, no, it's kind of hard to fry. Well, that's too bad. Too bad. Sorry. <laughs> no, she was the one to head out the door because she's a working woman now. Yeah. Well, she's the one uh, bringing home the uh, bacon. Try not now. to use that dirty word. Yeah, I don't like that dirty word. Luke's class now. I'm a, yeah, you are. I stay home. My P- wife brings PJ home the bacon. Bill. Kept man. That's, that's a good deal. Up. That's right. Fried yeah. up in the pan. That's right. But I don't dare let my wife come home and catch me in PJ because she'll find me some chore to do oh mine catches me in pjs all the time oh, mine catches me in PJs ready, too. Too. well see i don't even have to do that my, my wife she doesn't like to eat early mm-hmm. she likes to go out on the screen porch and we call it the woman cave because she likes to stay Ooh. out there till nine or ten o'clock at night Whoa. and so half the time i'm like hey what's for dinner i don't know whatever you want to fix for yourself go right ahead <laughs> oh yeah. wow but i don't even have to fix anything for her she says i don't want anything i'm just gonna have popcorn yeah. So I'm telling you, low, That's low, low wife. maintenance. My wife and my daughter, they have popcorn many times. Is it is it a woman thing, or do men it's just eat popcorn all I the time, too? Quick. Not with my woman. Huh. Huh. Well, uh, you know, since my wife got liberated, what you know, you do? it used to be she always, always fixed dinner. Now, how did you let that happen? Now well, she calls up, and she says, will you get the hamburger out and, and get this, and will you do this, will you do that, and then saute this? I'm thinking... Wait a minute. Mel, Mel, you slipped up somewhere. Oh, I don't, I don't know where that happened, but you're going to have to work on that. I want to know what she got liberated from. <laughs> was she in bondage or D- something? Dinner, apparently. Cooking Let dinner. My people I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think she, so she started into, got into the workforce. I think to her, that was a, a, 
a step up or something. Women got liberated way before your wife yeah. was ever born. You, you got a way younger wife there. I think she was born after the, all the women were burning their bras and stuff. <laughs> I think what it might be is she might be trying to hint around for you to go back to work. Maybe she says, if there I make you cook go. dinner, yeah. are you listening, Carrie? That's that. a good idea. Yeah, there you go, yeah. Carrie. You but can but work the thing on that. is, I'm also dad taxi. See, my daughter oh, goes to got a job in another county, and I have to go pick her up at three o'clock in the afternoon. That's so why she's keeping you around. Day, yeah, you got a the purpose. Whole day you got, <laughs> you just can't. You got to plan your day around three o'clock. You know. Well, oh. now see, I'm sure you could go be a greeter at Walmart and fill that in between time in yeah. there. Yeah, them pretty legs of yours. Yeah, you'd be a hit. Hey, don't don't go tell my wife this stuff, okay? You don't think Are she's you listening, listening Carrie? to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll make sure she. She might be listen. today. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, this morning, I, I she asked me to fix her sauce, taste some uh, kale and eggs and uh, mushrooms and stuff. Wow. And I said, man, you're high maintenance. <clears throat> I mean, you know, I'm, I'm working harder now than that you've gone to work. Did yeah. I set her off? Mm. No, she said, no, I am not. She, she schooled me. She Ooh. told me what high maintenance is. She said, high maintenance is, I got to have my fingernails done. I got to have my hair done. She says, I, and- I, she says, I take care of that stuff myself. I said, so, but you are high maintenance, sweetheart, aren't you? Is, no, is, I'm not high maintenance. Is schooling him being a, another word for he got yelled at this morning? Yeah, I well, think so. Yeah. He had a beat down. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. I, got a beat down. I, I, you know, I noticed he's wearing that collar kind of up high. Trying That's to hide right. his, yeah. He ain't I, trying to hide hickeys either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it ain't hickeys yet. All right, yeah. <laughs> if they'd been breakfast in bed, it might have been hickeys. But. Well, yeah, you never know. Uh, Goodness. Well, what is a high maintenance woman besides well, high that? She says a high maintenance woman is... Uh, Someone who who has to have your attention all the time, or or she oh. has to have her hair done. She has to, you seen know. that, seen yeah. that. I've got friends that have wives like that. Yeah, I'm not mentioning any names. I'd like to keep uh-huh. them as friends. Yeah, but the thing is, you have mentioned them because. They are your friends, and you probably have limited friends, and the friends yeah. know who the friends are, right? <laughs> so they know. You're, this, he knows me. He is right on <laughs> there. There you go. Uh-huh. Well, these are Man. women, I think, that when you get ready, we're going to go out to supper tonight or whatever, you're ready in five minutes. It takes her two hours in there. Yeah. Well, oh, I'll be right out. I'll be right out. And a half hour later, I'll be right out. I'll be right out. Now, that is one area where I do have to say my wife, she, she loves to fix her hair and get it right. Mm-hmm. right. That's her one high-maintenance area. So. I'm in that group. I'll be ready to go, and 30 minutes later, I'm like, have you finished your hair? Exactly. You know, your wife's hair, even after when she runs in these 5K races, her hair is right. You didn't see her hiding behind the truck, fluffing it out and getting oh, it all no, back I, in I, place? I miss that. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she's learned how to do that stuff where she yeah. can keep it hidden. I'd wear a hat. <laughs> Don't know if that messes like, up her hair worse. Yeah, I like hats anyway. Well, go home and take a shower. And she doesn't perspire either. She does not. Not very much. If she yeah. does, you know it's really hot. Yeah. Because she, uh, she's, cool, she's a cool cat. Is your wife like that? That's my wife. Mm. I can just think about being hot and start sweating. I'm just I'm sweating. Yeah. Thinking about you sweating. My yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Now you got me sweating. <laughs> yeah, it's we, a sweaty bunch in here. Holy cow. <laughs> I thought we'd fight over the, over the thermostat, but... I wouldn't win, so I, yeah. I give up. <laughs> she keeps it on about eighty year round. Well, I, 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 I am around sweat. My wife goes for seventy five. I am kind of lucky. My wife keeps a blanket right by the couch and a little cupboard there, and so she lets me turn the air down, good and cool, and then she grabs her blanket out because she likes you her wooly. You got a good wife. I do have a good wife. Wow. I don't know how I got her, but I, hang on I, hope I, can, I hope I can. My goodness. Yeah, but wow. I think I think a, a high maintenance woman is very self centered. I think you're right. Yeah. I really do. But you know, my wife was, is always telling me about, she used to tell me about the love language. And oh, she boy, said, it, she can said, you say this on the radio? <laughs> she said, each woman is different. She said, we each have our yeah. own love language. She yeah. said, some women want, want, uh, want, uh, want words. They want words. You know, they, you know, right. they, they want right. to hear Some want money. And some don't want some to hear money and words. Some uh-huh. don't want to hear any words from you. you know? I heard that. <laughs> some have some choice words for you. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you don't give them the money. <laughs> I heard that. Well, my wife says what she likes from me is is uh, service. <laughs> oh, now, now no, we go. We Check, went into please. a whole other area here. Check, please. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> Acts of service. Well, so uh, I, I don't think that got any better, do you? This is a, this is a family show. It's a hole yeah. into a whole other hole there. Yeah. Goodness. We're, we're down to 30 seconds here, so I don't know if we're going to come back and, and and jump back into this up to our eyeballs or not. We, we may just let this one live where it's at. That's right. Come back for segment two and we'll find out. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in a few. Bye.